Um, doing a little mic check. Can you hear me? I hope so. Yes, you can hear me. Good. Is this a good look? Just this. Hold on, everyone. Understand this playlist, right? Is my whole map in here? Yes, it is. Great. Oh, did you guys drink enough water today? I don't think I did. It's been really weird adjusting to not a lot. Hi, Erico. Hi, Erica. <laughs> Emma, it's like the E party right now. And by E party, I don't mean like doing ecstasy and then doing yoga. That sounds like a trip to the hospital and you don't want to go there right now. They're really busy. Don't overwhelm them. All right. So if you're just checking in, we're going to start in three minutes, I want to start on time and just see where we go. Also, this is Sadira. Hello. Hi, Brackens. I miss you all. I wish we were actually just FaceTiming. That would be so cool. I know that that's through an application called Zoom, but I don't feel like doing it, okay? I just wanna go live. Come here, Pi. Come here. Come on. Come on, don't be shy. Come here, you're funny. Cat, do you consent to me touching you? Just the tail. Hi, Mona Lee. Come here. Come here. You're so welcome. No, you don't need weights. You just need a cat. If you have a large cat, then just grab your large cat and touch them. Hi, Marcus. We don't need anything for class today. I'm going to try to keep most of these classes without props because I know a lot of people don't have props. Yeah, we're going to plank. <laughs> oh, we planking. Pi can plank for a long time. <laughs> yeah, so today, um, today, ooh, that hair gets everywhere. Um, my idea is we're doing some like handstand adjacent word potential we're, we're definitely going to do some upside down time um this like little bone of my wrist is acting a little funny um so as i was kind of prepping some um inversion work today um i was feeling it a little bit so we're going to get the wrist and everything really warmed up also i've been washing my hands so much that now i have a rash that's cool well at least you know i'm washing my hands um, also at the very top of the chat, I have the playlist listed. So if you do want to follow along with the playlist, then you can do that. I'm going to turn my music down pretty low so that if you are doing that, then you won't be like having combating music going on. You want to know how long? I never kiss and tell, Candace. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get started. And I'm going to clip my little clippies to the front right here because we're actually going to get started laying down on our backs. So do that for me, please. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah. 
once you lay down on your back, I want you to find just a comfortable shape and a comfortable position for your sails. <sighs> kind of spread your legs out into the bottom half corners of your mat. And your arms just out here by your side. And I want you to circle out the ankles, getting all the little cracks and pops out. And then do the same little circles in the opposite direction with your ankles. And then do that same thing with your wrists, rolling them in a direction. And then in the opposite direction. Nice. Now let's take the arms up above your head. And I want you to stretch out really long. Now just try to reach with your right foot. And then try to just reach with your left foot. Ah, and then center everything and gather your knees in towards your chest. Let your low spine flatten onto the ground and rock a little bit side to side. That should feel pretty nice. Now I want you to keep your right leg in, plant your left sole of the foot to the ground. So the left leg is staying bent. Flex your right foot and find the outside edge of your right foot for half happy baby. Mm. Now I like to wing the outside of my left foot. Um, or wing my leg to the outside of my left foot. I was really distracted by this sexy cat scrolling by. Um, so that you can get more of a groin opener and an inner thigh open. So from here, right leg can stay bent, or if it feels good, you can open it out to the side and take it back in. If you're like, Tracy, my legs don't do that, then it's okay, you don't have to do it. Mm. Now, wherever you are, I want you to hold it, either bent or long, and I want you to feel some activation into that leg. Now, let's take it back to center. Right sole of the foot down onto the ground. What's up, cat? Left leg pulls in, knee comes wide around the rib cage, flexing into the foot, and then receive the outside edge and go into your half happy baby again. So your um, Arda and Anda Balasana. Now you're going to wing to the pinky toe side edge of the right foot, opening up the groin. Yes, I acknowledge your presence, Kat. Now this left leg can take a little journey out. Oh, shit. And then coming back in, yeah? So you've been sitting at your home office all day, or if you've been doing couch Olympics all day, this should feel pretty good. <laughs> I'm a medaled athlete in the Couch Olympics, by the way. Mm. All right, let's take the left foot back down to the ground. Now you've got two soles of the feet on the earth, and let's lift up into bridge pose. Set to Bandha Sarvangasana, lift your hips up off the ground. Now shoulders can take a little squeeze together. I want you to feel some space coming between the skull, the bottom part of the skull, and the upper part of your shoulders. So that little cervical spine has this little lift off the ground. Now think about these magnets wanting to bring the inner thighs slightly closer together. They're still hip with distance. Squeeze your glutes. Now elevate through your heels and then roll down one backbone at a time. That's right. Let's do this two more times, breath to movement. Press into your heels, lift up your hips. Nice, put on your stilettos <laughs> and then roll down. Let's do this one more time because you know me, I have OCD and I like things in threes. Lift your hips, elevate through the heels, and then take it all the way back down to the ground. Now let's take your left leg long and your right leg pulling in, and we'll go for a hamstring stretch. So right leg will lift up to the sky, and you'll receive back of hamstring, back of calf. If you're flexible, you can wrap peace fingers around the right big toe. If your low spine feels super compromised here, you can bring a bend back into the left leg to ease this position for you. And I want you to notice if you're cocking the right hip up, and I want you to try to slide a little more length along the torso as if you were standing up as tall as you can. Good, let's do the same thing on the other side. Letting go of the right leg, pulling the left leg in, finding the same little journey here on the other side. 
Now, because we will be working inversions, we're going to be working a lot of anatomical stacking and anatomical awareness. So wherever you are, hamstring grabber, calf grabber, toe grabber, cool. I want you to create some length into the left side of the waist. Imagining as if you're standing up against the wall behind you. Now really work the dorsiflexion into that left ankle joint, drawing the toes a little bit closer towards your face. Good, let's let go of that left leg. And then we'll bring both legs into a reverse tabletop position. Grab for the backs of your thighs and then lift your shoulders and your head and neck up off of the ground. Now I want you to hold right here and start to reach your arms up above your head. Modification for the arms above the head, if you don't like that, you can just reach them up to the sky or reach them forwards towards the front of whatever your space is. If this video is good, I can really check my shit out. There we go, that's 90 degrees. Hold. Really try to press your low spine in towards the earth for this particular one. A couple different schools of thought on that, but we are going to be working hollow body stuff today. Good. 30 seconds hold, and we're doing a round of three. I'm doing this because my friends knows that Susie in Houston, Texas, made me do this today. So we're all doing that shit together. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Little break, place the feet down, relax the arms, the head, neck, and shoulders a little bit. Well, on this next one, we're gonna go for the full offering and we've got two more rounds. So if you need to pace, you're still going to reach up above, biceps by the ears or in front of your modifying, and then lengthen out the legs along. Yeah. You're not making this better, cat. Try to squeeze the inner thighs together. Squeeze the quadriceps, reach through the arms, invite the shake, invite the heat. I'm already sweating. Last 10. Press the left side into the ground. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax on one. Wow, guys, this is starting just the way I thought it would. Terribly. We've got one more round. Again, modification still available. <sighs> Legs up into reverse tabletop position. This one I'm going to make a little more interesting, okay? Arms are going to reach up above your head. Legs are going to lengthen long. And I want you to try to find some balance and lean over onto your left hip. Don't let your feet or hands touch the ground. How much on your side can you get? Feel the inner thigh squeeze. Reach, 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 reach. Now come back to your hollow body. Hold. Good. Let's do this on the right hand side. Roll over towards your right butt cheek. And then try to get all the way over onto your side. Think about yourself sliding through a pane of glass. Being wiggly is totally fine. It means your body is figuring it out. Good. Come back to hollow body. I know. Fuck you, Tracy. One more time. Over to the left. Yee. <laughs> back to center. No. And over to the right. <laughs> Stay with me for five. Four, three, two, come all the way back to center, hollow body, five, four, three, two, hug your knees in a line. <sighs> Gather them towards your chest, lift the tailbone, and rock up to a seat, and then back down. So roll like a ball is the assignment. I know, guys, that was terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> I hate it! And I love it. I hate it. I love it. All right, let's take you all the way up to a seat. And then we'll sit off to one side and work into tabletop position. So hands and knees onto the ground. This cat here on my mat. Okay. 
Now, once you've made it into your tabletop position, we're gonna warm up your wrists and forearms a little bit. Now, when we're working inversion stuff, I want you to think of your fingertips as your brake system. So these little grippy fingertips are gonna be really helpful for you today. I want you to try to spiral your elbow points behind you, right? So we're wrapping externally and we're taking the shoulder blade down and neutralizing the spinal column. From here, shift a little forwards and backwards, stretching out the underside of the forearms. And just letting these moments be sweet and passive. I feel like I can hear Erico complaining. Erico, are you complaining again? <laughs> okay, neutralize yourself. Fully externally rotate your hands on just the right side. So my fingertips are facing back towards my knees. Now we're gonna work through cat cows. Reach your heart forward with an inhale. And with your exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Good, two more like that. Just the right hand is an external rotation. Inhale, and exhale. Good, one more. Neutralize the spine, right hand goes back neutral. Now your left hand does a little switcheroo, and we continue our cat cows. Reach the heart forward, round and squeeze. Good, one more like that, reach the heart. Round and contract. Nice, now neutralize the spine, take your hand back down to where we began, and then make fists and come down to forearms. Now, you stay exactly as you are, but I'm gonna turn and face you so you got a nice visual on this. I want you to bow the elbows out, Turn the tops of the hands down to the ground. So if you were to open your fingers, you'd be staring down at your palms. Fist bump yourself, really squeeze those bad boys together. And I want you to bend from the wrist joint to lift the elbows up, feel a stretch into the top part of your forearms. Good, and then bring it back down. Whoa, everything just cracked in a really weird way. <laughs> See that again, lift and lower. One more time, lift, really feel the space, zing. And then I want you to lean back towards your heels, bring your hands back towards our original tabletop position. Now let's tuck the toes, float the knees just an inch up off of the ground, floating tabletop position. Now I want you to press into the ground, finding that soft protraction across your shoulder blades. Keep thinking about the wrap external Eyes of the elbows want to point forward. And I want you to really sit back deep towards your heels, almost like you can rest all the way back there, and then shift forward back into your tabletop. Let's do that a few times. Shift back, shift forward. Nice, shift back, and shift forward. Hold, step back into high plank position. Lengthen your tailbone back towards your heels. If you ever need a modification, the knees can come down, but I still want integrity in the spine. You just hear her breath in. And with your exhale, find downward facing dog. Find some relief in that. A little bit of a reprieve. Now, one of the only words that I actually memorize out of the dictionary, reprieve is a delay of punishment. And I swear, I can't see you. I don't know what you're actually doing, so I'm not going to punish you for anything you don't want to do at night. <laughs> consent is sexy, guys. An enthusiastic consent, even sexier. Let's lift our heels, rolling back forward into a high plank position. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Good. Now, I want your knees to bend as you do this. Keep it long as you roll forward. Once you get to high plank, bend the knees, slide back through that floating tabletop into downward facing dog. One more time like that, slide forward. Bend the knees, lift it all the way up and back into downward facing dog. Now lift high up onto your heels. Pretend like you don't have working knee joints. And I want you to tiptoe all the way up towards the top of your mat with your Barbie legs. 
Once you make it up there, heels make it down to the ground. Feet are hip width distance apart. Let the upper body hang and dangle here. Shift a little bit side to side. Allow your low back to decompress after your day. Now maintaining soft knees, let's roll you up one backbone at a time. Oh my goodness, yes. Good. Once you make it all the way up top, we're gonna to do some fun little body waves. Okay, I want you to take a little bend into your knees. Try to round the tailbone underneath you, push the hips forward and lengthen back out, yeah? A little bend into the knees, push the hips forward, lengthen back out. Good, three more like that, a little bend, push, lengthen. Good, on this last one, same thing, bend, push, this time reach the arms up to the sky, inhale, exhale, forward fold, work it all the way down to the mat. Halfway lift, lengthen out your spine. Really shift the weight forwards and towards your toes. And with your exhale, fold to plant your hands into high plank and step back. Now here I want you to shift yourself forwards. Bend your elbows to 90 degrees. If you need to drop the knees to the ground, then I want you to do that. Push yourself back up, high plank. Good, do that again. Bend your elbows to 90, push back up, high plank. Bend your elbows to 90, hold. Shift forward, hold. For three, two, one, let it go. Whoo! Now listen, I want you to shift your body over to the right a little bit, and I want you to give me your best Burt Reynolds on a bearskin rug impersonation. Support the left ear with your left hand as you roll over onto your left hand side. And I want your right knee to come in front of you your left leg to bend. Now reach back for the inside edge of your left foot with your right hand. And once you've got this connection, perhaps you lean back into it a little bit and look over to what was your left hand side. So my left fingertips are supporting the back of my head. It feels pretty nice. All right, let's release that foot. Come back to center, balance out this Burt Reynolds situation with some cat buttholes. Okay, right leg is going to bend. You're gonna find the inside of your right foot with your left hand. So we're just doing a variation of cat grabbing its tail. And I want you to lean back in towards that left shoulder, looking up or looking over towards the left, whatever you felt like doing on the other side. Yes, there's, there's things out there. All right, take it all back through center, releasing your legs back long. Bring the hands in by your side here. Slide them a little bit lower than you think. And I want you to start to peel up the heart space, the pelvis, the belly button, upward facing dog. Try to press your heart space forwards. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips all the way up and back. Nice work, everyone. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward. Use your brake system and your fingertips. Take a little jump to the front of your mat. Now let's heel toe the feet together until your big toes touch. Find a halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Now I want you to bend your knees to 90 degrees position. My hands are still on the ground if you haven't noticed that yet. I know you're all excited thinking about what's coming next. Well, chair pose is on next. So I want you to lift up the torso and reach your arms towards the upper hand corner of the space. Sit and trust your weight back into your heels. Take a breath in. Exhale, sweep both of your arms back behind you, opening up the chest. Thumbs are facing out and away. Now inhale, stand tall into your mountain, reaching the arms up to the sky. Exhale back into your chair with the arms reaching back behind you. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Show me a little back bend. Press the pelvis forward. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge from the hips. Work it down to the mat. Halfway lift. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, let's go to low lunge. Frame your right foot and step your left foot towards the back of your mat. Now lower your left knee down to the ground. 
And I want you to allow the arms to hang down by your sides. Show me what your maximum stretchy hip flexor opening on Janae that you can. And then I want you to pull back from that, yeah? So bend into the knee a little deeper. Notice that my knee stays over the ankle and then pull back. Now there are poses where the knee goes beyond the ankle joint, but we're not doing those in here. We're just trying to maintain this little bit of stack. Good, the next time you're at your maximum, I want you to reach the arms up to the sky, breath in. Exhale, let's take a half split, hands to the ground, lengthen out through your right leg here for me. Nice, now re-bend into your front knee, pivot your left shin bone so that it runs parallel to the back of your mat, and then lengthen out through your right leg. Now slide that heel a little bit forward and let's open up into our gate pose. Left arm reaches up to the sky, as well as your right set of toes. Nice big juicy inner thigh opener here. Good, let's re-bend into our front knee. Square off your left leg, mindful of your knees here. Heel toe your right foot wider towards the right hand edge of your mat. Hand re um, recommits back to the ground. Find length in your right leg again as you pull back and then re-bend into the knee. Heel toe the right foot even wider. So now it's a few inches off my mat, and I wanna again lengthen back and feel that. Good, re-bend into the knee, take it a little bit wider, so we're going extra wide through the hips now, and again lean back. Now slide the legs straight out towards your right hand side, and sit your hips to the inside of your left heel. So this is like a half hero's pose and half of a straddle with this right leg. I know it's kind of hard to see with this side angle. Okay, let's bring ourselves all the way back forwards. Keep this leg out to the side, but I want you to rond de jambe behind you and take the heel right into alignment with the hip socket. So I've got nice extension through this right leg. Now I want you to micro bend your right knee and then extend the right leg. Micro bend, extend. Extend, extend, extend. Now I want your glutes to activate with this, yeah? If you're not feeling it, then I want your micro bend and extend to be smaller and your extend to be the strongest part of this. Good, let's pick up that pace. Back, 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 good. You've got eight, you've got seven, last six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull the right knee in towards your chest, round the spine. Inhale, lengthen out the leg again. Exhale, pull it in. One more time, lengthen out the leg. Exhale, pull it in, hold. Tuck your left set of toes, three-legged dog, lift your right leg to the sky. Now open up your hip, bend into the knee. Let that be happy, let that be yummy. If you need some movement, make it happen. Good, now square the hip, release your right foot down to the ground. Lift up your heels again, engage your brakes, take a little hop to the front. Big toes touch, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, sit back first, then take your chair. Press the weight back into the heels. Low belly pulls in, floating ribs pull in. Now fly your arms behind you. Good, inhale, stand tall. Again, with your exhale, sit back in the chair, fly the arms. Inhale, stand tall, add on a little back bend. Forward fold, take it all the way down. Halfway lift, lengthen up. Exhale, low lunge. Right foot is going to step back, so you're framing up your left foot. Right knee lowers down, shoulders come up above your hips, arms are just kind of dangling by your side, but there's some activation in 10. Now give your maximum for finding length into your hip, um, hip flexor, and I want you to pull back a little bit and feel the engagement of the pelvic floor. I like to imagine that I can pick dollar bills up off the ground with my lady barts when I do this. <laughs> Rabbit. 
Hi, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Last three. <laughs> well, in reality, I'm talking to all of you, too. Last one. Hold that maximum level. Reach the arms up to the sky. Take a breath in. And with your exhale, show me a half split. Hands work to the ground. Lengthen out through your left leg. Now, again, I like to get a little bit of a slide in here. Just allows me to stack a little bit better. All right, let's re-bend into the front knee. Adjust the right shin bone so it works parallel to the back of the mat. And then let's party in our gate pose. Left set of toes want to point up. Left hand wants to stay on the ground. Right arm reaches up to the sky. Cool. Let's take it back. Rebend it to the front knee. Adjust the right knee safely. And heel toe the left foot towards the outer edge of your mat. Good. Lengthen out. And bring it back in. Heel toe wider. This leg's really going for a ride. Pull it back in. Wider. Ooh, that one's weird. Rebend it. Little bit wider. Nice. Now slide it straight out there for me. And I want you to sit to the inside of your right heel. So again, left leg is out to the side. I'm not sitting on my heel, but to the inside for this half hero, half straddle sit situation. All right, let's take it all the way back forwards. Ronda jambe this left leg. We're doing this so easy right now. Y'all are so lucky. Now we'll micro bend and extend that leg. So micro bend it and extend it. Keep the flexion into the ankle there. Back, 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 back. You should feel your butt cheek jump in every time you do this. Cheeks popping in quarantine. <laughs> Here, let's pick that up. Back, back, back. If you've taken bar with me, you're very familiar with this feeling. Cheeks dying, belly aching. Eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, and one. Knee to nose round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, pull it in. Last one, lengthen, pull it in and hold. Tuck your right set of toes, lift up and back, three-legged dog. Right away, open your hip. Left knee's pointing up to the sky and take your explorations there. One way and the other way. And then settle back into downward facing dog. Let's change the rules a little bit here, yeah? We're going to take some things out, quicken some other things, add a little more difficulty to the transitions. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, travel to the front. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Chair pose. Exhale, chair fly. Inhale, standing, reach the arms up. Exhale, back to chair fly. Inhale, back up. This time, add a little back bend. And with your exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, low lunge. Left foot steps to the back. Lower your left knee. This time, we reach the arms straight up to the sky. With your exhale, floating half split, one of my favorites. Just reach your arms behind you as you lengthen out through the right leg. Rebend into the front knee, sweep up. Again, sweep it back. Nice, let's do this one more time. Good, when you re-bend into the knee, take the hands down to the earth, heel toe your right foot to the outer edge of your mat. Now I want you to lengthen out through your right leg, try to lift it up off of the ground. Take it externally and shift back forward, landing into that same extended tiger pose. We go for those same little kicks. Little bends and extends for five, four, three, two, one. Knee to nose round. Inhale, lengthen, exhale in. One more, hold it. Left toes tuck, right leg to sky. 
open the hip one time, and then square it off. Let's add on Nakapada Chaturanga, slide forward, bending the elbows to 90. Upward facing dog, Urdhva. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's travel to the front again. Halfway lift. And with your exhale, fold. Chair pose, inhale. Chair fly. Inhale, standing. Exhale, chair fly. Inhale, rise tall, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, low lunge, right foot steps back. Right knee lowers. Anjane with the arms up. Exhale, fly the arms back, lengthen out the left leg, hold the core intact. Inhale, back up. Exhale, fly back. One more time. Good, shift forward, taking your hands to the ground. Heel toe of the left foot wider. Lengthen out through the left leg. Now try to pick it up, take it back behind you, adjusting the body weight back forward. 10 more little kicks here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Knee to nose. Again, hold it in. Right toes tuck, three legged dog, lift it up. Open up the hip. Nice, square the hip. Shift it forward, bend the elbows. Upward facing dog, reach the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift it up and back. Lift your heels one more time. Again, grip into your brake system, fingertips. Hopping to the front. Big toes kiss, half lift. Exhale, fold. Fingertips to the ground, feel the spine lengthen, lift your heels and bow the knees open wide. Attach your knees towards the outsides of your triceps here for a second. Try to keep your booty nice and high. Flatten the palms to the ground. Start to lean forward and feel the weight go into the triceps. We're working towards Bakasana, Crow Pose. You can start with one foot at a time. You can start with both toes lifting up. Try to peel the belly and ribs up off of the thighs. Even if you have mass there, think about just lifting. 10 more seconds. For five, for four, three, two, and one. Take the feet down. Show me your malasana. Knees are open wide. Body weight is going between these thighs. Now we're gonna do one more little exercise. <laughs> this will be less arms. This is gonna be more inner thighs and pelvic floor. And we call it the Jane Fonda. <laughs> so we're going to go back towards that shape we were just in. Put my hands on the ground. I'm like something called the Jane Fonda. Okay, good game. Whatever, Tracy. Now I want you to lift your heels again. You have a little bit of external rotation into the legs and you're connecting your heels together. Now you're gonna bend your knees, drop it like it's hot, booty down towards the heels, and then you'll lift it back up. But you're gonna do it a whole bunch of times. Now, I know it sounds like my knees are going to explode, but I swear they won't. Every time you lift your ass, feel the inner thighs squeeze. Come on, do it for Jane. Lift and squeeze. How about 15 more seconds of Jane Fonda? Last five. Oh my God. Four, three, two, 
Last one, lift it up, square the feet off, and lower the heels to the earth. Hold forward. Now soften your knees, roll it up to rise. And then I want you to flip me off in the camera. Does that make you feel better? Was that therapeutic for you? Well, good. Let's work towards the next last little pieces of our night because we have yet to do <laughs> a handstand. <laughs> this always happens, Tracy, right? All right, just stand hip width distance apart. <sighs> Hands right on them cakes, upper cakes, okay? I want you to lengthen the tailbone, feel it pull in. Lift your chest to the sky, open up the heart. Nice, now bring it all the way back forwards. Now I want you to lift up just halfway. And I want you to take your fingertips right into your belly area. I want you to feel that belly area really pull in and squeeze. Sometimes I actually like to push into my belly, but I kind of have to pee right now, so I don't want to do that too hard. <laughs> Ooh, you want to feel that squeeze. These are our inversion muscles. These are our stability muscles. Good, now let's forward fold. All right, cuties. Let's step back. We are going to do a one minute plank. Now, I know you're over my shit. You're not interested, but listen, this is gonna be great. I have a timer, so it's a real life minute. Not these lame ass minutes most fitness trainers do where it's actually like 30 seconds. Are you ready? High plank for a minute in three, two, one, let's go. Now if you always need to modify your high plank, it's all good. You're still getting the work done. You can take it down onto your knees. Sometimes I like to just stare at the ground and contemplate all my shitty life choices. The tattoos I got removed. <laughs> the pile of student loan debt I found myself in in my late 20s. You know, all those quality things that you can seem trivial now when you think about it. Oh my God, you guys are already almost halfway there. Cake, y'all. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh my god, you only have 15 more seconds. Holy shit, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, downward facing dog on one. Woo! Oh, so good, everyone. Now let's jump into our final little flow here. I want your left foot onto the ground, your right leg to lift. I want you to see the front of your mat, step your right foot between your hands and lift your left leg up to the sky into a standing split. Now settle your left foot towards the back of your mat, bend your right knee and show me your crescent lunge. Left knee has that soft little bend and you have engagement into your pelvis. This you feel reminiscent of some of the work we did last week. And I want you to hinge forward Lengthen out through your right leg once your fingertips get on the ground and pull the toes towards your face. Nice. Now rebend into your front knee, pivot your left leg, warrior two, open up into it. Flip your front palm, reverse warrior. Nice, with your exhale, let's work into skandasana. Externally rotate both of the legs, turning everything Now you can push into your hands, you can use the strength of your legs to take yourself all the way back to the front. Right leg can step back or extend back, tie to mid. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts up. Exhale, pull the knee in towards your nose, step through a little lunge. Standing split, lift your left leg high. Step your right foot towards the back of your space, bending into your left knee. Rise into a high crescent. Arms work up, tailbone lengthens underneath you. Legs can be more so onto train tracks if you need it, yeah? 
If you feel hot, you feel bothered, I want you to get a little more focused here for me. Know that you're almost there. Hands come down towards the earth. Left leg is going to elongate. Pull it back towards your face. Rebend into your front knee. Pivot your right heel. Virabhadrasana two. Right arm works behind you. Left arm works forwards. Pelvis organizes beneath you. Left palm flips. Reverse warrior. Big breaths in. Exhale, working towards your skanda, back of your mat. Right knee is going to bend and turn out. Nice, now press into that right foot. You can get assist with your hands as you work back towards the front into a low lunge. Left foot steps or extends behind you. High to mid, upward facing. Nice, exhale, downward facing dog. Now we're gonna repeat that flow and add on Option to get to the front of your mat using a switch kick. So you can take a peek at the screen really quick if you want. My left foot will stay to the ground. My right leg lifts. I'm going to bend my left knee, lift, switch, land. Yeah? So I landed in my standing split with my right foot at the top of my mat. Let's do that again. Right foot lifts. It stays high. My left knee bends. I look forward. Switch. Nice. Very good, y'all. Left foot steps back, however you got there. <laughs> High crescent. We're going to take the hands to the ground, lengthen out through your right leg, pull back. Shift back forward, adjust your left foot, Virabhadrasana two. Reverse warrior. Nice. Take it into Skandasana. Sit it all the way towards the back of your space. Now listen, this is going to sound crazy. Place your hands onto the ground here. I want you to press into the ground, lift yourself up, take your right leg over towards the left-hand corner of your space. Start to lift it up like you're going around a clock face. Up, 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 around, and then settle back into your skanda. Oh. <laughs> Let's go back to skanda, other side, and then adjust into our low lunge. That was rude. Right leg extends, high to mid, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Oh boy. Let's do the other side, starting with that switch kick. Left leg is going to lift, right knee bends, switch. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again because I did it twice on the other side. Left leg lifts, right knee bends, I look forward. Light as a kitten. Right foot steps back, high crescent. Hand work down towards the earth, lengthen out through your left leg. Nice. Rebend into your front knee, adjust the right heel. Your Bajasana two, you're almost there, guys. Reverse. Exhale, Skandasana, back of your mat. Now I'm sure on the other side you were thinking, Tracy, just what the hell was that? We are doing our clock face splits. Okay, hands come down to the ground. You want to press, lift. Start to take your left leg over towards your three clock. Oh God, don't kick all the important shit in your house. All the way up and around. And settling back to your skanda. Press towards the front of your mat. Low lunge, left foot steps back. High to mid. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice, place your knees down onto the ground. Okay guys, we're finishing off this flow. I swear, I swear, I swear. And the last little piece of an add-on is going to be a puppy up handstand. If you're into it, if it feels right, yeah? So that little six o'clock, around the clock face thing we were doing is set up to get into your puppy. Now it requires a lot of hip opening and a lot of shift, right? So all that weight going into the hands and then my little bracers right here. So this is called cambering, right? Cambering up through my fingers. So I'm just gonna show you what that looks like. You can totally ignore me and call me a bullshit liar. You can test it out for yourself, yeah? 
So the way we do it, we're here in our skandasana. Yeah? Let's see if I can even do it. Who knows? I press into my hands, I lift, my right leg comes around and works out towards my right hand side. Now I'm stacked anatomically, locking through the fingers and I lift up. Yeah? And then you land back into your skadasana. It's nothing, just an old trick. So, I'll cue that. I feel like I don't even have enough gas for it, but we'll try it out, yeah. So let's meet, downward facing dog. For our last piece, right leg is going to lift up. Again, you can just step it through or switch kick it. Standing split, step back, high crescent. Hands to the ground, lengthen out the right leg, hamstring stretch. Bend into the front knee, adjust, warrior two. Reverse. Exhale, skandasana. You can ignore me, or press. Swoop. Ooh. Oh, fuck that shit. Take it to the front. Ah. Make your way through. Chata. Erva. Downward facing dog. Oh my god, it's our last side. Yes! Left leg lifts. Take your little hop. Standing split. Step back, high crescent. Hands towards the earth, lengthen up through your left leg. Rebend into the front knee, adjust the right foot. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Exhale, skandasana. Again, ignoring or trying the things. Press. Swoop. I did it perfectly, don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's go back to the front of our mat for the very last time. We'll go through our last chaturanga. Up dogs, downward facing dog. Shift yourself back forward, knees to the ground, and sit your hips towards your heels. <sighs> Holy shit, you guys. Ooh. Oh, it's like perfect time. Let's take a little cool down, shall we? Can we do one more fun trick though? I bet you'll be into it. Okay, I'm gonna put my clippity clap back at the front of my, like it's my little fanny pack. <laughs> okay, if you have any watches on or any jewelry, bulky rings, Take that shit off because we need to lay on our arms really quick. So lay down onto your back. Take your legs forward in front of you. And I want you to put yourself in the sarcophagus. Really squeeze it in here. Now, you can help yourself with your right leg. I want you to push yourself over onto your left arm. Yeah? And my left foot has to flex like crazy. My neck can lower down towards the earth, or I can keep my head floated up. Now try to stack your right foot directly on top. Your butt is not on the ground. I'm here to just kill that dream right away. <laughs> if you're feeling frisky, lift the leg. Maybe you get real sexy. Maybe you're like, touch my butt. <laughs> my butt didn't touch the ground. Ground is lava. Oh, you guys, that was so good. Let's do that on the other side. Glue those arms to you. Roll over onto your right hand side. Flex your right foot 
hard AF. Once you've got it there, left leg can stack right on top. Or the modification, keeping the left foot behind you. Okay. So maybe stay right here. You're like, holy shit, I've never done any core stability work like this. Or you join me on a journey of lifting the leg. Focus. Focus. Woo! Dang. Let's come back onto our backs. <sighs> Support the back of your head with your hand. I promise we're not doing any more core work. Just letting go of the neck a little bit. Taking little side to side stretches. Okay, now we're going to go a little bit deeper into the neck here, and it's a little bit weird of a stretch. I want you to take your right arm and internally rotate it. Tuck it in like it's a little wing, so my palm is touching the ground. And then I'm going to have you lay onto your forearm. Left hand finds your right ear and tries to bring it towards the left shoulder. Your knees can even work towards your right hand side. Hmm. Sometimes when I can't stand my upper shoulder trap neck area gets all pierced so it's good to do all right take it all back to center lean over to the left to take out your wing put your other wing underneath Eep. and then lay down on it kind of fun right right hand finds the left ear and get some space on the left hand side. Knees can work over towards the left hand side. It's a weird stretch, but everything's weird right now. I'm really hormonal. I'm wearing eyeliner and it's all weird. <laughs> I feel like eyeliner and hormones don't go together. You know what does go together? Hormones and pizza. Yeah, holler if you, holler if you hear me. <laughs> Let's take it all back to center. Take your wing out from underneath you. Uh, I'm gonna take out my little bun because I want my hair not messing with me right here. Uh, and we'll take both of our knees in towards our chest. Now you can stay right here if you want, just in this little hug. You can also lengthen your leggies up to the sky. If you want to counter all of that work we just did, then you can go into a supported shoulder stand. So my tricep are going to press into the ground. I'm going to lift up and let my hands come to my low back. Then you can go into plow, legs can come up above your head and they touch the ground. Now the chin goes really close to the chest. You get a nice Jalandhara um, Bandha or throat lock. If you want to turn yourself into a fun size version, then you can just wrap your knees around your head. And if you're like crazy, that's crazy. And you can ignore me. I'm totally used to it. I need to solve the abuse for my students. Now to bring yourself down, you can just hit the rewind and go back up, supporting the hands to the lower back. Or you can take a really slow pike out. You're just one back boning at a time. One back boning at a time. And then you can lengthen your legs all the way towards the front. Ooh. Reach it out for a second, reach, 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 one more little hollow body, and then let it go. <sighs> Slide your shoulder blades further down your back. Okay. 
Allow the muscles of your body to get a little softer. And all the frustration and busyness of the mind to pass. Meditation is not absence of thought. But simply becoming an observer of thoughts as opposed to attached to the thoughts. Start to rock your head side to side. <sighs> Deeper breaths. that brand new feeling coming to the end of the cycle and through to the other side. I invite you to roll over to your left hand side into a fetal position. And just let yourself listen to the ground beneath you. Right hand presses into the mat, bringing you all the way up to a seat. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. I want to get closer to you. I'm coming. Oh. I need a pizza. Badger. Hi, everyone. Ah, thank you so much for joining me. Um, namaste. All of you, oh, I feel so nice and flushed and warm. Um, great job on that. That was a toughie in its own special way. Um, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your night. Thanks for joining me again. I really enjoy doing these power flows. Um, quick little announcement if you didn't see. Um, thank you, Emma. You're so welcome, babe. Um, I released these um, Namaste at Home stickers. Um, so my whole intention around this was to support some of my friends that are artists that lost work. So my friend Katie, that's a tattoo artist, did these. And I commissioned her to do that. So when you purchase them, it supports artists. And that's what I want to do. I want to try to support my community, support my friends, and keep giving as much as possible. So Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, and if you are taking this in the future, thanks again. Hey, you're the shit, Roxanne. I love this, babe. I feel so good. I feel super yoga stoned. I feel rosy. <sighs> I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Love you. I don't want to end it. I just want to see you all.